Tonight's top EU stories from the unit website include Vince Cable gets into a jam with the EU Huge protests in Brussels as public tensions escalate Haig steps in with more fear, uncertainty and doubt Cameron's immigrant benefits rhetoric is a con Plus, Cameron's gay marriage policy we've been lied to I'm Rick Timmis And this is the Unit Nightly News. Uh, From our homepage, this will please those of us with a keen interest in the collapsing Eurozone economies and continued austerity pressures on UK citizens. Vince Cable, the business secretary, has decided that now is the time to take up arms and fight the important battles with Brussels. Vince has highlighted the critical issues affecting the UK export markets and he is taking it to the kleptocrats in the commission. In this article, Vince explains how he is protecting the term fruit jam, which is clearly a cornerstone of the British economy. Jam manufacturers are under threat as the Commission's elves scribe out new legislation that would take away the right of jam makers to call their product jam if it contains less than 60% sugar. Oh golly. Protests are escalating all over Europe. In this report, we cover the demonstration outside the EU Parliament in Brussels where over 10,000 workers gathered to protest outside the EU Leaders' Summit. I really want to press the point home here. These problems are not going away. We interviewed Dr. Eric Edmund last year and talked about these issues which he predicted at the time these things would happen. He predicted more besides and I'm saddened to see that the kleptocrats have indeed managed to enact a wholesale bank robbery in Cyprus. I encourage you, in fact I urge you to do two things today. Number one, go and listen to the interview with Dr. Eric Edmund in our audio section so you can get ahead of the game. And number two, go to our website, sign up for the newsletter and get involved. Help us lift our voices and put an end to this nonsense before it really gets out of hand. Here is a great article, and this is why I love doing this work so much. It's just brilliant when one of our globalist puppets drops the ball and I get to highlight them talking complete BS. (laughs) In this article, William Haig has apparently come out with the announcement that even though there is mounting pressure from UK citizens to bring forward a referendum on the EU, they can't because the Lib Dems won't let them. Well, I'm calling him out on this. It's complete rubbish. So here we go. September 8th, 2011, public citizens pledge over 100,000 signatures calling for a referendum on the EU. October 24th, 2011, parliamentary debates take place after David Cameron has whipped his party into alignment dictating that they should vote against an EU referendum. Many Conservatives rebel, but it's not enough for the motion to pass. So, Mr Haig, you're called out. Mr Cameron might talk of referendum, but actions speak louder than words. Here at the unit, we don't care too much for political rhetoric, but we deeply care about truth, liberty, independence and democracy. Breach those fundamentals and we will call you out. Well, it's the hot topic in the UK news. Cameron's landmark announcement on the benefits shake-up, a curb to deter immigration. But will it work? The BBC reported yesterday the following. EU migrants will only be able to claim job seekers allowance for six months and this benefit will be stopped after that if they are deemed unlikely to find a job. Well, sounds like a step in the right direction, but it isn't. This is already the case for all job seeker claimants, EU or UK. Another statement. We want to ensure that only the best workers come to Britain. Well, Mr Cameron, you can't implement such measures. You would breach the EU treaties, the Human Rights Act and the Disability Discrimination Act. Mr Cameron, this isn't funny. How can you make such statements? Are you not consulting with your legal advisory team? I want to continue connecting the dots today, seeing as I feel like I'm on a roll in exposing the truth. 
This article and the supporting material in our video library bring together the legislation behind the non-manifest policy suddenly introduced into Parliament by our honest and honourable leader, Le Bon Premier Dave Cameroni. Preaching the verse about equal rights and presenting the coalition policy on same-sex marriage, Mr Cameron implemented an EU Commission directive, not in the election manifesto, and sold it to the UK public as a national policy. It was not. Here is the link to the full article that Andrew investigated, with links back to the original EU programme, the Stockholm programme, which mandates this policy as a federal EU law. Today in our video library, as supporting evidence to demonstrate that Mr Cameron's policy on gay marriage is not Mr Cameron's at all, it is in fact the work of Mr Von Rompuy and Mr Barroso, as scribed by the Orc Hands of Mordor in the EU Commission. Here we have a recent video of massive street protests in Paris as the French government implemented the exact same EU law on gay marriage, which enraged many, many French citizens. That's all from me at the Unit Nightly News. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website, theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there, and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the E Unit. And remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. You can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. Are you looking for a public speaker for your event? Our public speakers are happy to come and discuss Britain's relationship with the EU in your area at no cost. If you would like to add interest and value to your group event, then get in touch with us via the word section of our website. Finally, join us live in a question time style online show, The Unit Interactive. Broadcast live on our website, theunit.com and globally via the hangoutshow.com. Join our community on Google Plus and you can be part of the wider public vote, united in freedom, liberty and independence. Simply join our community, the unit, on Google Plus. Links to the community page are below. Rick Timmis for the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon.